meeting of the 63rd session will now come to order. Speaker Pro Tem for Bowen will do opening roll call.
need to talk about anything or you have any opinions you would like to express, uh, you can talk to me outside. I'm, I'll be happy to talk to anybody. I'm here for you as well. Um, and that goes for emails and things like that. So back to the election commissioner. I have found uh, the perfect candidate for election commission. Uh, this is the last of my, um, this is the last member of my team to join. Um, so after this, we don't have to do this anymore. So I'm excited about that and I know you are too. And we can get rocking and rolling and this way we can get the election commissioner um, getting ready to, for fall elections. Let me tell you a little bit quickly about uh, Cameron Medlin. She's an accounting major, uh, uh, excuse me, sophomore accounting major. Uh, she was in a freshman leadership organization. She was on COSGA exec. Uh, she is a business student council. She's the vice president of that. And also, she's been involved in two um, student campaigns. Um, she is perfect for the job. Uh, I have full faith and confidence in her as somebody that was a candidate this past year, seeing what needs to be, uh, or the characteristics of a, an election commissioner, what that needs to be. Uh, she fits that, she actually exceeds that. So I cannot be more excited. Uh, and this time I'll allow her just to say a little uh, bit about herself and then uh, y'all can ask some questions. Thank you, Jacob. Um, as he said, he told you a lot about me. My name is Cameron Medlin. Um, I've had a lot of experience in SGA the past two years. I've got to um, campaign on two different um, election with two different election campaigns um, for Yale leader, student body president, and um, a couple other things that we were voting on as well. Um, I will accept this position wholeheartedly. I, if you know me, many of you do not, but if you um, get to know me, you will know that I do not accept the position unless I am willing to step up and take it and commit all the time and effort that I need to. And I understand that this will take um, a huge commitment, but I am willing to do that wholeheartedly, as I said before. So if you have any questions, I'd be more than willing to take them now. Uh, what's your, uh, uh, Chair Fitz, or Ross, what's your opinion on um, like using the megaphone, in, uh, or like using the PA system and Johnny Hall system to be like, because it used to be like the, the court could guess what announcer and horse kid is. all of those rules and regulations this summer. I'm sorry, I don't have an opinion on that as far as right now. Um, but if I am um, selected tonight, then I will review all of that this summer and I will um, review that with my committee and the rules and regulations chair, Rachel, as well. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Anything else? Senator Abernathy. Dick Abernathy, Liberal Arts. Would you prefer to do a whole rewrite of the whole election rule or would you prefer to do kind of a piece by piece look at each different As of right now, um, of course, I will look over what we have already um, and take that into opinion. We're looking at doing um, a pretty strong rewrite of the rules and regulations. Um, we're kind of looking at instead right now, there's a lot of gray areas and it allows for a lot of concern because the rules are written as what you can't do rather than what you can do. So if we write them to what we can do, it doesn't allow for such a gray area to occur and I won't get as many concerns and problems. So if a situation arises, we can say, these are the rules, these are what we set forth, and this is why you have to follow them because we do not have a gray area. It's what you can do. Can everyone please be quiet, especially in the back? Thank you. With that, Senator Wilson. Senator Wilson, Science. Um, a brief preface, if I may, short. Sure. Keep it brief. Okay. Um, the SVP debate to me is a very important part of the SVP campaign, and in the past I feel that it hasn't been extremely accessible to students, a very visible part of the campaign. Do you have any ideas on how to get, I don't even want to say market it, but any changes you can make so that that's available to more students? And honestly, I attended the debate um, the past two years, and the student attendance was awful. It really was. Um, and it's really disheartening that people were asking them to vote, yet they're not even going to listen to who's running. And we're just going off of campaigns, and that's um, a really big downfall for this campaign process, I think. And so um, I am going to review all of that this summer, as I said. I would love to, um, I'm going to talk to Jacob as well and get his opinion on some of those things. But I'm also going to use my committee, whoever I pick. Um, I'm probably going to select one person and focus on that the most, on getting that um, marketing. And also, you know, with the debate alone, um, we also need the student turnout on actual voting day. And so maybe changing it up so we might be able to campaign on voting day. So instead of saying, vote next Wednesday, you could say, hey, vote today. Today's voting day. Please come. Go right here. It'll make it a lot greater of a turnout. So that's what I'm planning on doing. Senator Pitts. There's probably another question you can't answer, but I mean, what he said about the SVP debate reminded me of the Senate forum, which has been an epic failure the last couple of years. Uh, 
Uh, when I first ran as a sophomore, like a few people showed up because this is the same week as FTP debate. And then last year, I went up there and the room was completely empty. Like nobody was in there. Like, do you have any like specific ideas of how to market these kind of events better? You know, I'm going to be completely <coughs> honest with you as of right now. Um, not even being confirmed yet and not even having a committee yet. I have not even sat down and go, okay, this is my exact plan of action. Um, but I, I want to be honest with you. And this summer, I will be here all summer, and I'm committing um, my job to this summer. And so I will come up with every single idea that I can. I will run it by my committee. I will run it by rules and regulations. I will run it by Senate. And we will get the best ideas out there for marketing. Thank you. You're welcome. Senator Landry. Retreat. I remember Cameron laying down the law 
uh, and saying, if you do not do this, you are out of Cosga. If you do not show up to this, you're out of Cosga. If you do this, that's great. These, these are the, the rules and the bounds that you work within. Karen, uh, I think that she's perfect for this position uh, just for the fact that she's a stickler for the rules. Um, she, she knows that, that whatever regulations she, she puts forth have to, have to go through this body. She's willing to work with us. Uh, she, like I, I said in a couple of other exec nominations and confirmations, uh, the, the, the most important thing here is that she's willing uh, to learn. She knows that she doesn't know everything, but she's, she's going to learn everything. She's going to get over that learning curve. Uh, she's, she's dedicating her summer uh, to working on the election regulations, um, and I have no doubt that she's going to be the best election commissioner that we've seen. Um, and with that, I yield to Thornburg. Chair Thornburg, rules and regulation. Um, I also talked to Cameron before the meeting, and there's no doubt in my mind that she's going to do the best job that she can. And of everyone that we've talked to about possibly taking this position, she, she stood out above everyone else. And like Davenport said, I mean, she's ready for this position, and she's going to go above and beyond from what Jacob did last year. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but we're, we're going to change things up, and she's going to make things so much better and so much easier for everyone running next year. So please vote for her. Are there any wishing to debate against? Seeing none, the chair deems debate one-sided. Mm -hmm. State your point. Uh, I move for please stand. Uh, will there any off-campus? Uh, I move for voice vote. Voice vote. There is a motion on the floor to move for a voice vote. All those in favor, That's please say aye. Right. State your point. We typically do secret ballots because if it's a voice vote, that might that might deter people from voting against. But there's still a motion on the floor to have a voice vote. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. All opposed, please say nay. Nay. This motion clearly fails. We will take a secret ballot. State your point. Stay in order. I believe it's default. Okay, well, is there a motion on the floor to move for a secret ballot? So moved and seconded. All those in favor of a secret ballot, please say aye. aye. All opposed, please say nay. You can the chair the eyes you have it. Her name is Cameron Metz.